for this tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Stylecraft Classic Cotton. Now these come in 50 gram, gram balls and these balls were brand new when I made both of these. So 50 grams will be plenty enough to make um, an octopus. You will need some microfiber filling. You will need some black yarn for the facial features. Alternatively, if you want to use the safety eyes, you can use those. I have used the 12mm safety eyes. You will now need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to suit your yarn. I am using a 3mm crochet hook. Now before I get started I just want to mention that yes this is a crochet octopus, I know a lot of people are making these for premature babies, I just need to pop a disclaimer in here to say that although I have um, the preemie baby octopus design in mind, I cannot guarantee that they are going to abide by all of the standards in your particular country. So before you make one of these, with the intention of making it for a preemie baby, please make sure that you go and check out those standards beforehand. For example, the uh, safety eyes on Oliver the octopus here, they are not allowed for preemie babies. So as I say, although I have that in mind, I cannot guarantee that this tutorial will abide by all of the current legislations for each country. So please make sure that you check out those for your country before you embark in making one. But if you're just making this for a stuffed toy, then we can go ahead and get started. You're going to begin this tutorial by doing a magic circle. If you are unfamiliar with the magic circle, I do have a tutorial which explains it step by step. I shall leave that in the description box below for you. But we're going to start off with a magic circle and then we're going to do six double crochets into this um, space. So remember I'm working in UK terms. In the US, this is known as single crochet. So insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through both loops on the hook. So I'm just gonna pull this circle just so it's a little bit e easier to work into. Uh, but that's our first one. Then we go for our second, three, four, five, and six. So what we're going to do now is hold on to these stitches and pull on this uh, loose thread and that just pulls that in nice and tight. And the beauty of a magic circle is it makes a super super tiny hole in the middle which is barely visible. So what we're going to do here is connect to your very first stitch. So you insert your hook into the top of the stitch, grab the yarn and pull through and that is our first round. Now what we're going to do is chain one, and we're going to do this at the beginning of every row, but this chain one will never class as a stitch. So in this row, we are going to do two double crochets in every stitch around this um, circle, and this is going to equate to 12 double crochets in total. So we've done six stitches in this round and we'll do 12 in this, so we're doubling it up. So you want to insert your hook right into the bottom of where that chain one is. So if you just pull the chain one to the side, you'll see it lifts the stitch slightly, you see that hole there. You're going to go straight into there and do a double crochet and also straight into that stitch again and do a double crochet. So that's two. We go into the next stitch and do two stitches. And into the next and do two stitches. I'm gonna do that all the way around. So pause the video and count up to 12 stitches and I'll show you what to do to connect from the last stitch to the first stitch. So at this point I've worked my 12 stitches all the way round and you can see the very first stitch just here. It does look like there's quite a big gap between this last stitch and the first stitch but remember we're going to join these together and we're actually going to create um, a sphere so it doesn't matter that the um, the work is bending slightly because that's exactly what it's supposed to do. So at this point we look at where our first stitch is, uh, we can see where our chain one is just here and the two stitches in between. We're going to insert our hook into the top of that very first stitch 
just here. Grab the yarn and pull it through and then that just connects our first stitch to our last stitch. And then again, you're going to chain one to start off your next round, which is round three. And for this round, we are going to increase our stitches from 12 to 18. So what we do here is we're going to start off by doing two double crochets into this very first stitch at the bottom of this chain one. So we're going to go one, two, and then into the next one, we're just going to do a single double crochet. So it's three. Then we're going to repeat that again. So two into the next stitch, four, five stitches in total, and then one into the next stitch, six stitches in total. So you're gonna repeat that all the way round. Two stitches, one stitch, two stitches, one stitch. Count until you get to 18, and I shall meet you back at the end of the row. So I'm now at the end of my row. Some people do like to use stitch markers, but I generally um, know where my beginning of the row is due to this very last stitch just before being slightly elongated. But you can do whichever you want to do um, in order to make sure that you're doing the right amount of stitches and starting and finishing in the right place. So we're going to do what we did before and insert our hook into the very first stitch and chain chain one to get to the fourth row. So at this point we're going to increase our stitches to 24. So we are going to do two double crochets into that very first stitch. One, two. We're going to do one single double crochet into the next stitch and also a single double crochet into the next stitch. So we're just going to repeat that again, two stitches in one space and then one single stitch and another single stitch. So that's eight stitches in total. We'll go two double crochets, one double crochet, one double crochet, continue counting until you get to your 24 stitches and I shall meet you back in just a moment. I've completed my 24 stitches here. I'm going to insert my hook into the top of the first stitch and slip stitch, which completes my fourth round. I'm going to chain one to start my fifth. And then in this row, we are going to increase from 24 stitches to 30 stitches. So what we do here is two double crochets into the very first space. And then we're going to do a single crochet a single crochet and a single crochet. So the pattern is two double crochets in one stitch followed by three double crochets into the next stitches. So as I say, we are working our way up to 30 stitches. Go ahead, pause the video, two double crochets, one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, and I shall meet you back in just a moment. I've done my 30 stitches. I'm going to connect to the first stitch and slip stitch to complete the fifth round and chain one to move on to the sixth. So from the fifth to the sixth, we're going to increase from 30 stitches to 36 stitches. So we're going to go ahead and do two double crochets into that very first space. And then we're going to do one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, and one double crochet. So you might be able to see the pattern start to form here. Um, so we're just increasing those double crochets, um, the singular ones by one each round. So again, we're going to do two double crochets in one stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, 
and double crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead, pause the video, count up to 36 stitches if you followed along of what we've done already. We've already done 12, so I'll meet you back once you've counted 36. So I'm going to complete round six by joining with a slip stitch. And we're going to move on to round seven, which is actually our last round where we increase. So I'm going to chain one to start it off. And then I'm going to do two double crochets into the first stitch. And we are going to do one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet um, and then one more. So we actually do five, one double crochet into the five stitches. So it's two double crochets and then one double crochet into five stitches. We are increasing this round from 36 to 42. So we'll go ahead and do two double crochets, one and two, and then do one double crochet into the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. So at this point I have done 14 stitches in total and I'm gonna continue until I reach 42 stitches. Meet me back once you've done that and we'll move on to the next round. So I have now completed my 42 stitches. To complete round seven, I'm going to insert my hook into this first stitch and grab the yarn and pull through for a slip stitch. I'm now going to chain one and we are on to our eighth round. This round is also going to consist of 42 stitches. So we do our very first stitch into the bottom of that chain one. And we are simply going to do one double crochet into every stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work your way around, count to 42, and I shall meet you back at the beginning to finish off round eight. So at the end of round eight, you can really start to see your work starting to curve. Um, I'm going to attach to my first stitch and slip stitch to complete round eight, and chain one to begin round nine. Now round nine, 10, 11 and 12 are going to be exactly the same but what I shall do is I shall start off the round with you and finish at the end and I shall leave a little marker just here so if you want to keep track by playing and pausing the video you can do, alternatively you can just keep track by writing it down. So this is round nine and we are going to start off by doing a double crochet into this first stitch and then one double crochet into each stitch around, counting up to 42. So go ahead, pause the video, and I'll meet you back at the end of round nine. So round nine is complete, it's really starting to bowl out nicely, and we are going to connect to our first stitch, and then chain one to start off our round 10, doing our first double crochet into the base of the chain one. So go ahead and count 42 stitches for your round 10 and I'll meet you back to finish off round 10. So I've completed 42 stitches in round 10. I'm going to attach with a slip stitch to my first stitch, chain one for round 11 and begin by doing a double crochet into the bottom of that chain one and go ahead and count 42 stitches all the way around for round 11. I've just completed 42 stitches for round 11. I'm going to connect to my first stitch to complete round 11. Chain one and begin round 12. So we're going to start off by doing a double crochet into that very first stitch at the base of the chain one and continue round with one double crochet in each stitch for round 12. I shall meet you back at the end of your round 12. I've just completed my 42 stitches for round 12 and I'm going to join to the first stitch with a slip stitch and I'm going to chain one for round 13. 
So round 13 is where we're going to start to decrease our stitches. We're going to decrease from 42 to 36. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by double crocheting two together. We're going to work into two stitches, but this is actually going to make one stitch um, in total. So the way we double crochet two together is insert the hook, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook. Now rather than finishing off this stitch, we're going to go straight into the next stitch and we're going to grab the yarn and pull it through and then we'll have three loops on the hook and then we're going to grab the yarn and pull through all three loops on that hook. So that way we have worked into two stitches but we have just created one stitch that you can see at the top. So we're going to double crochet um, two together and then we are going to do one double crochet into the next five stitches. So we go one, two, three, four, and five. So with that double crochet two together, that is one stitch, and then we have five stitches. So six stitches in total across here. And we're going to repeat that. So insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, do not finish off that stitch. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Grab the yarn, pull it through. You'll have three loops on your hook. Grab the yarn, pull through all three loops and that creates one stitch. We're then going to do one double crochet into the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. So we have done 12 stitches in total here. You're going to continue that sequence until you hit 36 stitches and I'll meet you back at the end of this row. So remember double crochet two together and then one double crochet into the next five stitches. So I've just finished my round 13 with the 36 stitches. Now when you connect here, you have to be careful that you are going into the right stitch. So if you just turn it upwards, you'll see a shorter stitch here, which is actually your chain one, and a slightly longer stitch here, which is the double crochet two together. So you kind of want to just look for the bulkier stitch, and then you're going to slip stitch into that stitch. And that completes your round 13. You're going to chain one to start round 14, and we are going to reduce this row from 36 stitches to 30 stitches. So what we're going to do here is again, start off with double crocheting two together, and this is going to class as one stitch in total. And then you are going to do one double crochet into the next four stitches. So one double crochet, two, three, and four. So you have your four double crochets, your double crochet two together, that's five in total. And you're going to repeat that again. So double crochet two together, and then do one, two, three, and four. So pause the video, work your way round. You are going to have 30 stitches in total. We are going to connect this. Then I'm going to give you instructions of how you can add the safety eyes if you're choosing to use safety eyes. So to finish off round 14, I'm going to identify this double crochet two together and slip stitch into that stitch and then chain one to get ready for round 15. At this point, if you are using safety eyes, um, you want to do that now. Um, I'm going to demonstrate um, the embroidery on this one, but obviously on this one is where I use the safety eyes. So at this point, this is where I would do it. 
So all of your joins are at the back of the head. So you want to locate the opposite side to where your hook is, and this is where you're going to put the safety eyes. The round that we have just done is the round 14, and you're going to insert this into round uh, in between round 13 and round 12. So I'm using, or I have used, the 12 millimeter safety eyes. So this is what they look like, and they also come with a plastic bit at the back here. So you would insert your work and then put the back on. Um, so what you would do is you would find your first location for your eye and literally just push it in between a stitch. Um, and then push it right through. I'm not going to do that just because I'm going to embroider on here. So you'd push through and then pop on the back and then you would measure about an inch. I always use my thumb just here. Measure about an inch and make sure that you're doing it on the same line and pop in, oops, and pop in the other eye. So what I actually did on Ollie the Octopus was when I put the safety eye in, I laid this thread in the middle down and actually caught the thread in the back of the safety eye just to hold it in, in place. But as I say, I'm not going to actually sew any eyes or put any eyes onto this just yet because I'm going to embroider that and I'll show you how to do that later. So at this point we are ready for round 15 and we are going to reduce this round from 30 stitches to 24. So we're going to start as we have been and double crochet two together, which is classing as one stitch only. And then we are going to do one double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two and three. So just to recap that, we're going to double crochet two together and then do one double crochet, one double crochet and one double crochet. So you want to pause the video and work your way to 24 um, 24 stitches. We have done eight stitches already. I'll meet you back at the beginning. So I'm just at the end of round 15 where I've just done 24 stitches. I'm going to insert my hook into the top of that first double crochet two together and slip stitch together. Chain one to start round 16. So you'll find that your opening is getting smaller and smaller at this point. We're going to double crochet two together to begin with, and that is our first stitch. And then we're going to do one double crochet and one double crochet. So we're reducing this round from 24 to 18 stitches. So we'll just do that again, double crochet two together. And then one double crochet and one double crochet. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way to 18 stitches and I shall meet you back in just a moment. So at the end of my round 16, I have done 18 stitches and I'm going to slip stitch into that very first stitch and chain one to get ready for round 17. At this stage, you are going to take your uh, filling, so your microfiber filling. Um, I've just taken mine out of a cushion and you're going to begin stuffing the head. So you can just pull this out if you want to. I like to pull it out and then um, slip my finger through it just so I know that it's not gonna come undone. And then you want to begin stuffing the head. We are going to stuff it um, even more as we start to close up this hole. So don't worry too much about getting it too firm at this point, we just want to begin getting the filling in there um, just so that we can make a start on that. If you fill it too much, it's going to be hard to crochet around, so try not to overfill at this point. So you then want to insert your hook again and we're going to start working our way around. So for round 17, we're going to reduce from 18 stitches to 12 stitches. So you are going to double crochet two together. And then you are going to do one double crochet. 
and you're going to repeat that again. Double crochet two together and one double crochet. At this point it does get a little bit more fiddly so do take your time. You're going to count your way up to um, 12 stitches all together and meet me back in just a moment. So at this point I am going to attach my first stitch to my last stitch because I've done my 12 stitches for round 17. I'm going to chain one for round 18. I'm going to pull out this thread and I'm going to stuff this even further until it's firm. Um, you want to do this at this point because otherwise the hole will get a bit too small to stuff. So if you need to use a pencil or even the back of your crochet hook, then go ahead and do that. Pause the video, stuff until firm and meet me back once you're ready. So for round 18, we're actually going to reduce um, from 12 stitches to six stitches. So what we do is we simple, simply double crochet two together six times and that creates our six stitches. So double crochet two together, double crochet two together, and continue round until you have done that six times. So at this point, at the end of your round 18, when you've double crocheted two together six times, you will be left with a small hole. So what I would suggest is that you continue, so don't join to your first stitch, you're just going to continue round and double crochet two together until that hole becomes um, small enough. So I would suggest maybe an, another two to three times. So again, it does get a little bit more fiddly at this point, but you're just trying to close up the gap. There we go, so we can see that that's all closed up now. Now it does look a bit ugly at the bottom, but don't worry, this is all going to be disguised. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that just now. So in order to add the tentacles, uh, we're almost going to make the neck of the octopus, which is just here. Um, and this will create the basis of um, attaching these tentacles. So what you're going to do is chain one at this point. So chain one. And I'm not going to tie off at this point because this is where I'm going to start forming the neck. So what this has done, this chain one has created a longer stitch and what we're going to do is we're going to create a circle around uh, this base here. So I'm going to slip, slip my hook under one of the stitches and I'm going to slip stitch just there. So it just pulls it across. And all I'm going to do is work my way round in a circle and double crochet under the stitches around in a circle. So double crochet and just keep turning the work and double crochet, turn the work, double crochet. You're going to do about six stitches in total. So we've done one, two, three, four, five and six. Doesn't matter if this circle is perfectly round or not, doesn't matter at all. And then we're going to slip stitch into that very first stitch that we did. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you want to find that very first stitch. Again, don't worry too much about being specific here, but you're going to insert your hook under those loops and pull through for a slip stitch and you're going to chain one and then you're going to double crochet into each of the first round of the stitches. So insert the hook, double crochet, insert the hook, double crochet and it just kind of builds the stitches off of the head 
in order to um, work towards something when attaching the tentacles. Don't worry if this doesn't look perfect because we're going to cover it over. So again, you're working about six stitches all the way around. And then you're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch. So if I just hold it to the side, we've kind of created this knobbly bit at the end, um, which we're going to use to attach onto. So at this point, um, you can tie off your work. So you're going to grab the yarn and pull it through and then grab your scissors and leave a nice long end so that you can sew that in and pull this out. I'm going to put this to one side. Um, we can manipulate it a little bit later to make it a bit longer, but it just looks a bit like a balloon at the moment. So that is the first part of your um, octopus. So next we're going to make a start on the tentacles, which will be in part two of the tutorial. <laughs> 